here we are back again with the 2017 running session at Sultan Heritage Centre and um, with this video it's only going to be a short, shorter video because it's not really much to show you about, about the two engines so we've got obviously the world's famous steam engine Mallard very in very good con well I say very good condition but she's just missing her front buffer beams but apart from apart from that she runs she runs really, really well look at the detail in the wheel in though took the right wheels on and also go focus camera focus 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 Well, that was supposed to. <laughs> so obviously, four, four, six, eight. My lad, world record holder, for the fastest steam train in the world. That comes back in focus now, so we can get to the boiler. So I'll show up at the. Yeah, and if you can't see that, it's just the decorative <laughs> record breaking when she did a break, record breaking attempt. So here we go, the number 4468. Look at the detail in the cab. You can even see a call. And her amber brakes. So obviously, that was the R engine. The reason why I wanted to put my lad on with this, en this engine is, is because. Oddly enough, they're both they both from the same rail company. So that's my lads, my lad. I'm just going to run my past the camera so you can have a look at the B12. So here's the B12 on the double header. This is the only thing which Sutton Shed is able to do nowadays. And the Heritage Rail, well, the Heritage Rail, which I'm running here means you can have any energy you want running on the line so that's the B12 playing some Ludden Custer carriages along with some Royal Scott carriages also this, these two engines which are on this track here both from my mate and um, yeah he didn't have no, nothing well he didn't have time to run them anymore so he passed them on the maze for, him to, for me to run so I'll just send them, send around, send them around for a bit now, and let, let them have a bit of a run past your camera, run past the camera. Obviously, Mallard obviously were built during the Second World War. Well, before the Second World War, broke out. <laughs> and you know, yeah, if you can see the. East Coast, bring it back around its so because I haven't moved it that part where there. Here comes my lad. So we've got that shot for you. There we go. So this is a, this is the best, good thing about my layout. As you see, we've got a miller there at the end of the line. We we'll go around it here. A little bit of a street, obviously houses, shops, hey oh, it's got a problem, sorry about my photo bombing then, well we have got a problem, the B12 has come off the track, the other thing is about that the um, B12 can't pull the carriages by itself, Well, um, what I can do is I can take her off. So you're gonna just gonna see the beetle just this short stint of the video. Is uh, this is just not meant to happen. Because my lad, my lad and this one was supposed to run in, in contrast with each other, but they were obviously the beetle's misbehaving itself. She were. She's for she's camera shy, but here we go. Clap for a shot, eh? 
you know, what I can do is get them both running up together towards, towards the camera. So I'll just, just watch out for Malcolm past the camera. There he is. There she is. Right, we're going to back her up. Back Malcolm up. I'm going to just do a little run past the camera. Oh, that's my hand. Well, here we go. Here come the. Here come. Here come the. Here come off from now. Oh, don't wait. I'll just run them at a slow speed past you. The engines are fighting the camera. Sorry, and, uh, if you can see past, oh, yes, no, it's still going. So, I'll just move the camera just a bit further up so now that the engines can't ambush the camera. There we go again. Now the big twelve. Again. Well, I'm just going to take the B12 off so you'd see the B12 now. Right. Found a substitute engine, by the way, which is this engine, which is the Civil Region engine. Great. I don't want to risk it because that one sets fire. Itself, which is annoying. So it looks like Miles going to this train itself. But I will bring the camera. Oh, she's just come off, oh, come off the track. Okay, she's built for going forwards, but not for going back. Wrong car, Anyway, we'll go. You know what? Like, she should have decided to jump up there. Yeah, the white shunner just jumped, jumped at me. Wanted to, he wanted to kill me. Put it that way, he wanted to kill me. But I'll put you. The shunner and, and the lovely little... Little... Um, Smokey Joe will be joining in a running session on this track. This layout, it's just that I have to move quite a bit of stuff out of it, but anyway. So here we go. We'll try again with my lad. There we go. Mm, so, 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 so you've witnessed on that friend of line doing a run. We're gonna go running and assault at the same time. I don't know, I haven't got enough time because it says I've got 14 seconds of light on my camera. Grr. So just to uh, end the video and end part two of the Hornby running session.